What's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll be covering Resident Evil Village not starting at all when you try and fire it up through Steam. It's a relatively common issue and there's a lot of different solutions and a lot of different things that could be causing this. In this video, it'll be very general, but hopefully you'll get the issue solved. So to begin, simply open up Steam, navigate across to Resident Evil Village, right click, hover over Manage, and then click Browse Local Files. What we're going to do is run the game in administrator mode. So select re8.exe, right click, and then click run as administrator. More likely than not, your game will launch up properly and simply just work. If it does work, right click this re8.exe once again, properties, and navigate across to the compatibility tab where we'll be checking run this program as administrator, apply, OK, and closing this window. Upon doing this, Every time you launch up this program here, it'll launch up in administrator mode, hopefully avoiding the issue entirely. Something that I've also heard is launching the game through this exe over here rather than through Steam can also solve the issue. So in that case, you wouldn't even need to run the program as administrator to fix the issue. You just need to run it out of this folder here itself. If that does work for you and not through Steam, right click re8.exe and then click create shortcut. This will add a shortcut to the folder that we can then add to our desktop and launch the game from here. Of course, you can rename it whatever you'd like. However, let's assume that it doesn't work. What else can we try? Well, more likely than not, your graphics drivers are simply out of date. I personally haven't updated my graphics drivers in quite a while, but of course I haven't been playing too many recent games. This is a very demanding game that requires a DirectX 12 graphics card and of course updated drivers to function at all. So do also make sure that your graphics card supports a DirectX 12. After a full update of your NVIDIA, AMD, or whatever else graphics cards, the game should function properly. But let's assume that it doesn't. Hopefully at this point, you're receiving an error on your screen that you're able to search up and find an exact solution. However, if you can't, there's a couple of other fixes that we can try. Number one is temporarily disabling your antivirus or Windows antivirus to try and see if the game itself is being prevented from running by an overly invasive antivirus software. Though this is more unlikely than not. Something very likely is that if you've recently installed Windows itself, you may be missing certain runtimes that the game requires, such as the C++ redistributable runtime. You'll often see this as an MSVCP or something along those lines error that pops up on your screen. What we can do to fix this is head across to the link in the description down below, the Visual C++ download website. Over here, look for Visual Studio 2015, 2017, and 2019. And all we're going to do is open up this 86 link over here and the 64 link in a new tab. Doing this will download two installers that will then open up and install on our computer. However, if you see something like this when opening it up, simply click repair. This will run through all of the files on your computer that relate to this program and make sure that they're working properly. Upon completion, you should be able to launch up the game, especially after a full restart. But with all of that aside, something else I've heard that works is getting the game to launch in DirectX 11 mode, or even if it doesn't technically support DirectX 11, at least lowering some things down so that it can launch properly on your computer, once again, assuming your graphics card is DirectX 12 capable. Simply open up Steam, right click Resident Evil Village, hover over Manage and click Browse Local Files. Inside of this window over here, we'll be opening the config.ini file and inside of here, you'll find on the second line, Capability DirectX 12. Change this to DirectX 11, save and close. Quick side note, something else I completely forgot to mention is the ray tracing and HDR mode over here that are currently both set to false. Make sure that yours are both set to false as well, regardless of whether you have a graphics card that supports it or not. These could cause issues with the game actually launching, but more likely than not, it's got it correct and set it to false if you don't have a graphics card that support these. Now, of course, something else you notice in this file over here is the renderer or adapter option down here. If you're using a laptop with an integrated and a dedicated graphics card, you'll more than likely see the higher power of the two here. However, if you're seeing the integrated graphics card here, be it Intel or AMD, instead of your dedicated AMD or Nvidia graphics card, what can we do to solve this? Well, you can try deleting this config.ini file, hitting start, typing in graphics, and opening up graphics settings. Inside of here, 
click Browse under Graphics Performance Preference and navigate across to the folder with the game files. So I'll copy the link at the top, paste it in here, and I'll add RE8. Now you can see REA is on the list over here, click Options, and then High Performance and Save. Upon doing this, your game should launch using your more high performance graphics card, especially now that we've cleared the config completely. So I'll go ahead and fire up the game. And upon firing it up, you should notice a new config.ini file is created here from scratch with all of the new details filled into it once the game itself actually starts up. But anyways, that's about it for this video. You should definitely have your issue solved by now. So that's really it. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Technobi here for Troubleshoot. And I'll see you all next time. Ciao.